right, Donald is done welding. We uh, took the old twin bed frame that we had and Donald welded it on to stabilize everything and then drilled holes for the screws. But <clears throat> this, uh, we uh, took Rust-Oleum Rust and painted the whole thing too because it will be sitting on the ground. But we're gonna be making that pad for it also. And in the meantime, until we get the front porch replaced, this is what we'll be using until then. But we're gonna go ahead and get it into place and put the boards back on and make it nice again. <laughs> all right, here are the new boards. We went ahead, this is all pressure treated, and we went ahead and got some clear water stain because as you know, our property floods. So we tried to make this wood last as long as we can. Uh, we got the stand over here and then we're going to be putting some blocks down in here and i even went ahead and yesterday we sealed the um railing too just to make that last a little bit longer too and because we do want to put a nice big deck out here but we know it's going to be a while and cost a few pretty pennies to do that huh honey yeah lumber is outrageous yeah but we're going to be doing the same thing to our back steps because our back steps are not doing that great, are they? Nope. <laughs> so Donald's going to go ahead and pop out the screws because uh, when we painted, we hung them. So that way it, um, we didn't have to worry about stacking and the clear the, uh, and they could dry. sealant. Yeah, the sealant could dry properly. So we're gonna just going to go ahead and get together and get it back back in order. And we went ahead and got bricks under the corners, under the railing here. And Donald's getting ready to put the top on. So soon we will have nice looking little steps. All right, it's all done? All done. All done. Solid. Nice. And then I'll go in where we had the little holes and I'll put some uh, sealant on them. So then that way we'll be done. I'll probably do that tomorrow though. Yeah. Not but, bad for a little project. Yeah, we ain't got to worry about breaking our necks on the steps. Yep. <laughs> no that's more. That's what we replaced. Yeah, that's what we replaced. Yeah, I think we waited a little too long. Well, you know... It is what it is. It was supposed to only be temporary. Yeah. When we brought it out here. When we drug it from the back side here. Yeah. It was just so that until we got to build the deck. Yeah. Well, that's been. That was before the wood prices. Yeah. That was before the price of everything went up. So, but yeah, that's the old wood falling apart on the sides. This was pressure treated, I guess. Yep. It was, but they just didn't seal Once it. Once upon about a hundred years ago. Yeah, really. Who knows how long it's been there? And then we got another steps in the back that we'll replace again. Yeah, we'll have to take it down, repair whatever metal needs to be repaired, and yeah, same thing. Yep, that's all we got to do. We'll probably do that in a couple weekends. Yep. So, but all in all, not bad. You did a good job, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Two weeks later. So today, we're going to do a little spring update and start planting while we wait for a delivery to come for more planting to be done. <laughs> Apparently, my neighbor has started working on the small engine. Sounds like a either an old truck or a motorcycle. Not sure which one. Hi, honey. Hey. You okay? Yeah. I'm not going to cut any more down. Yeah. Because the centers are still trying to uh, come out on these banana trees. Uh, I've cut a couple of them down shorter that looked like they were totally dead. Yeah. You know, ones that I couldn't get up to the very tip top. Okay. And they're still popping out. Okay. Some of them are just slower to pop out. 
Do you think it was just too much dead weight on the tops for them to push out? Uh, no, because when they came down, I could see that they were starting to pop out mm -hmm. of the top. So okay, we just need to give them a little bit more time before I go cut down ones that I that we think are dead. Okay. Now the little shorter ones, I cut a bunch of those down that were totally dead. Even over by the shed. No, I didn't get to the shed. I did the little ones right on the side of the house. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I would say take a look at the ones um, by the shed and then by where we had the old duck pen, right there where that group is. I, I did that. You did that? Okay, so you just got to check the shed then. Yeah. Okay, you do that. But the shed are all ice cream bananas. I'm not going to cut any of those down because they, they survive the freeze really good. But... Don't you want to at least cut the top so they can too, pop? They're all too tall. Oh, they're all too tall. Okay. We made my herb garden area. We went ahead and got some sun... Um, we've had sun cloth. We just reuse it in different areas every year. So these were the steps in the back porch. Um, these are not new. What I did was we turned them upside down just for the season. And I went ahead and I just painted the tops of them with uh, Thompson Water Seal we had left over. And we painted the metal again with Rust-Oleum. We got it up on bricks. But this is where I'm going to be growing all of my herbs. We're going to be planting butterfly pea here. Um, so I'm excited about this because it's right out our front door. And I am really looking forward to having this done. And... As I go around, you'll see the banana trees, as Donald was talking about earlier, they are coming back slowly but surely. I'm, this year's uh, the two super cold air, uh, fronts that came through really um, took it out of them. We also put up this fencing to prevent the chickens and everybody from coming into here because I didn't want them eating our herbs. And also too, we'd like to sit out here with no problems. And I'm gonna go into the uh, backyard here. And all the animals are fine, they're doing great. I'll do a separate video on just the animals. And then over here, um, we got some more bananas, but we took out some and moved them. Um, we've been planting cassava and Mexican sunflower. Hello, Sarge! We've been slowly having the chickens clean this area out, which is doing great between the cardboard composting and then putting our scraps in here. The chickens have really started to clear out this zone, uh, zone three. Hello, Sarge! How are you? What you doing? Yeah? And then we open this up. Um, our next plan is taking the fence. That's all. This was the old duck house. That's the old pen uh, for our pigs that we, when we raise them. But uh, what we're going to do is in here, we're gonna take that back fence. We're not gonna dismantle it, we're gonna be moving it. We're gonna be moving it right about here where it goes just on the other side of the pig pen and then straight back. We're gonna try and go all the way back to the neighbor's fence back there. And then that way all of this would be at least somewhat protected. Um, these guys did pretty good, not bad. Hi Sarge, yes. And then uh, let's go ahead and get on the mound. I'll show you all the stuff we've done here. A couple changes that we made. Um, one of them is we got new steps. Yep. As you can tell, this one, I the story behind it is I ran out of Thompson Seal, the clear stuff. And when I went back to the store, all they had was the transparent red. So that's why that's red. Um, but we got our ducks in here now. The ducks have been helping us mow. As you can tell, they're doing a good job. We got their duck house in there. 
Um, if they're not going to be using this duck house, we'll be moving it out. We're just going to leave it in here for the week. There's their water. Dirtied it up already, huh? And as you can tell with the banana trees, then there's our new set of steps over there. Um, we added laundry posts. <laughs> this one Donald made. This one my dad gave us. Uh, he had it in his, in his uh, I guess, in his garage. So what we've done is we're, this is gonna create shade. So we put this up. Oh, that sun is bright. And Donald went ahead and found some spare wire we had over out in the uh, barn and we strung it. So we're gonna be growing our yard lawn green beans. What I need to do is I need to get string and have it connected. We're gonna plant them in the end tires so that way they'll have easy access to climb up the cattle panel and then i'll have string this is going to be part of our tomato row we still have to fill in the back ones we haven't done that yet but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take string and i'm going to have them come down so that way we can twine up the tomatoes this year um <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Yummy. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you what Donald's doing here in a minute. Um, our umbrella broke with the windstorm we had the last two days, so we had to get a new one, which stinks. But I like that one. It's blue. Here's the other step, as you could tell. This was the first one I did with no issues on the paint job. <laughs> but we brought the patio table out here. We moved the mailbox, which we're gonna be turning that into our composting. So we can create soil down in the far corner where Donald's taking those limbs. That's the burn pit over there. And eventually we're gonna be moving this row um, I think we decided to take that out and use it somewhere else. And the ugly swing set garden or uh, greenhouse has been dismantled. And this is going to be getting ready to, uh, I got to put up the bamboo and the lattice. But this is going to get ready here soon for uh, planting as well. Bananas in here have fared very well. We did lose a lot of racks with the winter. Uh, that came through. That's starting to look better now. Yeah. I see we got one of those um, hanging planters in there. Maybe we can screw, not today, but maybe we can unscrew that and put that somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> Since we have ducks in here, we had to put bricks down to prevent them from going under the fence. And then in here is our garden, the front area garden. Um, we still have to till this up, but we got everything pulled out short of a few trees and then the greenhouse. Um, the last video we did about the freeze and how the mango survived, uh, they did not. A few, maybe it took about two weeks, but, um, yeah, everything in here died. And that was, and that's what Donald is hauling out right now. Um, we eventually have to take out the stumps, but um, <clears throat> the freeze got to everything in here, which. Yeah, this was our experiment. Which we, yeah. I was hoping at least the mangoes would survive. Yeah. I knew the sour top was going to die. But our plan was to move this whole greenhouse, mm -hmm. but and let these guys grow. But since they died, we're gonna leave the greenhouse here and turn it in to a cutting house. Put shade cloth over the top. Of yeah, it. take off these hoops. No, we're gonna leave the hoops on. Put the shade cloth on it. Uh huh. And then put the plastic over top the shade cloth. Okay. 
So that way the shade cloth will keep it, keep the chemical reaction away from the plastic PVC. Okay. Because if you guys, this was a big mistake I, I made using this. Uh, apparently the plastic, the greenhouse plastic and PVC has a chemical reaction that breaks down the plastic. Mm -hmm. So you can't use, you're using this for like one season is fine, but not for multiples. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to straighten it up too. Cause I think we need to put in some support beams, which are going to be better than, you know, that's not like touching the top. Yeah. But it's pretty solid. <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty solid, but we're just going to straighten it up. Um, we'd like to take the bottom half and put a couple layers of wood. So when we're mowing and weed whacking, um, yeah, the plastic isn't going, the plastic right. is only going to be from here up. Yeah. On both sides. Yeah, from here, from the top up, the plastic. The rest of it's going to be solid on the bottom. So it's going to be a work in progress, but we definitely want to turn it into where we can have some benches in here, be able to have seed starters, and also use it as to, um, you know, when we do eventually start up our private nursery, people can come in and then they can take a look and see what we have. Um, the loquats are just a bomb right now. They're so sweet. Look at them all. We got to pick again, honey. Yeah. There's more there. I mean, this, this tree, this, this is the first year I've seen it this many. This tree is just the bomb right now. And then this is the back side of the house. Um, looks like some of the bananas are coming back. We planted a bunch of Mexican sunflowers this year. All right, so near the front, uh, the blackberry bush, um, it's doing okay. It's not like it was last year. We do have flowers, not doing too bad. Um, then over here, we cut back the grapevine and that is just the balm right now. It's growing really good. Plus we added uh, two new trees. This one here is the Dorset, which is one that grows well here in Florida. And then over here is the, which one was this one? The Anna? Yeah, that's the Anna. Um, we picked that up at Lowe's. They were on sale. So in Florida, you want to have at least two apple trees, two peach trees, so they can um, pollinate each other. And then down the road here, everything is blooming, coming back. The bamboo did, the bamboo we were really worried about, it survived the freeze. It did great. It was a big old champ. Um, and then we have some mulberries coming out. We got to cut back the willow tree again. Figs did great. This mulberry is just the bomb blooming right now. I mean, look at all those mulberries. Very happy. Um, we got rid of Shrek. We gave that to our nephew for his 18th birthday. And then we're back near the front of the house. So all in all, that is what we have been doing. Uh, we've been busting our butt, getting this place kind of ready. Oh, I love this now. I can't wait for my, I'm gonna be able to have pots on everything. I'll be able to grow a bunch of, bunch of uh, herbs. I'm excited about that and have it right out my front door. I can't ask for more. Um, the reason why we had to put sunshade up is because this side of the house faces west. So the sun intensity during the summertime is like right behind me here. It comes this way. So we put the sunshade up to give the herbs the ability to, you know, have a relief from that. We're probably going to reposition this. I may have it to where it's facing this way instead of at an angle 
That way it's completely under the tarp when it needs to be. Or the sun, I shouldn't say tarp, sunshade. <laughs> this is not waterproof. This is just UV, um, I think it's 50%. So, but it does, it is breathable. So when it does rain, it will allow the, uh, the rain to come through, which is a bonus because then I know that the, whatever is on the steps is going to get uh, watered as well. <clears throat> but um, yeah, we've been very busy. And then there was a week or two, we were both very sick. Everybody was sick in the house. Um, right now, all the cats are sick. They got this upper respiratory thing from the pollen. That the pollen's been bad, huh, honey? And brutal. Yeah, bad and brutal. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good word for it. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me know what you guys have gotten started and what you're growing this year. Let me know in the comments. And until then, we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.